on the cheap. Today we're going to talk about PPE or personal protective equipment. So I have what I use in front of me um, in my shop pretty much every day that I'm working um, and a lot of this is 3M. Um, pretty much everything on here is 3M um, except for the gloves. But if you find a good brand that you like then get that and use it because if you don't like the brand that you're using or like the fit that you're using of the actual safety equipment, you're not gonna use it. So find something that you like. I'm gonna start up here at the top um, and we'll just go, uh, I guess, this way. Um, so right here are some noise canceling headphones and they are 3M. I think they're about $30, $20 actually. Um, I bought these from Ace Hardware and they work great. They're not the best noise canceling but they work just fine. Um, they fold down pretty small, so they're easy to store. Um, but like, you have to use these when you're using your big power equipment, like a table saw or a circular saw, sometimes even a jigsaw. So get yourself a good pair of noise canceling headphones. And the next thing you need to get is a good respirator with filters. You could also get like an N95 mask. Those work really well. Um, but I like this because you can replace the filters um, and this stays the same. Um, it has a port on the bottom that shoots the air down instead of up into your glasses and that, that, that'll um, eliminate fogging up the glasses and that's a lot safer to work with. Um, but yes, so this is a respirator with the carbon dust filters. You need to get the dust filters and you need to get the um, chemical filters. These are for like when you're doing finishes, um, like polyurethane or spray paint or um, anything that's fumy, you wanna use these because that'll really protect your lungs in the long term. The next thing is a face shield. This is a 3M face shield. I use this when I'm turning on the lathe um, because you don't want things flying up and hitting you. Uh, you can also use this if you're drilling into like metal or um, anything that's really hard and shatters. Um, so this is a really essential piece of work of, of equipment when you're using the lathe. Um, so get yourself a good one and one that fits and is adjustable at the, in the, at the back with a knob. I like the knob ones better than the than the straps because those are those are pretty cumbersome. The next thing you ought to get is just a simple pair of safety glasses. Again, these are 3M. Um, they're super cheap. I don't quite know the exact price on them, but you can get them in a big pack and. It, save more money that way I guess um, but they work really well I mean all you got to do is protect your eyes but your eyes are very important in this hobby because you need to be able to see what you're doing the next thing is a pair of push sticks these push sticks are homemade um, which makes it great because if you need to replace them if you get too much um, too many cuts in it that is unusable just make a new pair um, this is for pushing a panel through and this is for just pushing normal stock through like a a 2x4 or something. Uh, you need to use these if you're on the table saw. Um, if you want to keep your fingers, I would highly recommend you keep these at your side um, ready to be used. The next thing is not always essential, but I like to have a pair of gloves on every once in a while while I'm working. Um, if I'm swinging a hammer for a while, um, it's really good to protect your hands from calluses. But one thing you need to know is to never use gloves like that when you're using a table saw or um, a lathe because if your glove gets caught up in there it'll pull you right through and you're it's really bad bad injuries happen when you use gloves on a, on a equipment like that well that's pretty much all the personal protective equipment that i have and use every day um, but if you guys have more you can put it in the comment section below but these will all be in the description underneath the video so thank you for staying to the end of the video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see the rest of my videos coming out. See you next time.